What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the tablet phone hybrid Dell Streak. This is the full US packaging uh, that is just about ready for release. So I had a chance to take a look at the Dell Streak when I was at Dell's campus in Red Rock last month and it was a really interesting device. Just big enough to fit in your pockets uh, but not too big that you couldn't use it when you're out and about. It uh, really is sort of a nice compromise of size and function. Uh, it offers a huge 5-inch screen. We'll go ahead and talk about the specs a bit more. Uh, but at the time when I first saw the device, uh, it wasn't quite ready for U.S. consumption. Now evidently it is, so let's go ahead and get started. This is right from Dell's PR folks. Go ahead and open it up. Just sent for a few days for review. No big knife needed. It's got the... FedEx handy rip thing. We can take a look at what the US packaging is going to look like for the Dell Streak. So here it is. Uh, as of now, I don't have any sort of carrier information or pricing, uh, but I do have some specs that I'll go over with uh, in a little bit. So here is the Streak, a five inch widescreen tablet. Dell five inch widescreen tablet. Uh, it's got a picture of it being mounted and used for uh, GPS, which actually would probably be a nice use for it. We've got some information on the side about uh, IMEI numbers and such. Uh, and here are some of the features. Let's sort of go through this very quickly. A uh, 5 inch WVGA screen at the resolution of 800 by 480. And that's a capacitive touch screen. It is using Gorilla Glass, which is that very, very, very durable glass we're seeing used more and more uh, on smartphones. On a phone and a device this big, uh, certainly having a durable glass display is going to be very important. So I'm happy to see that Dell used Gorilla Glass. Uh, it is using the Snapdragon 1 gigahertz processor. It's got a 5 megapixel rear camera and a VGA camera in the front. Uh, UMTS bands one, two, and three. Uh, so that means this will actually work with uh, AT&T's 3G network, 2100, 1900, and 850. Uh, HSDPA, uh, all kinds of Bluetooth stuff you'd expect. Let's go ahead and dig into the box. Got a little bit of uh, plastic right there. I'll go ahead and try and rip that. Uh, we are without the big knife, so I'll use the big old nail clipper uh, to cut that little bit of plastic. And we'll take a look at what you're gonna get in the box. Perfect. All right, so here we have, it's like a user manual, quick startup guide. Uh, this is running a custom version of Android 1.6. Uh, Dell has said that it will be upgraded to uh, the most recent version of Android. Uh, but right now, 1.6 is what the shipping ROM is going to be. Here's the device itself. We'll do a size comparison in just a minute. Push that off to the side. We've got the back cover and a battery, which is of size 1530 milliamp hours, in case you guys were, uh, were wondering. There it is right there. Keeping going into the box, we are going to get a pretty nice packaging, actually. Looks like we have a case, which is, see if it passes the, uh, what this case is made of test. Appears to be just a microfiber cloth, so I guess you can clean the screen with it or keep it safe. Uh, warranty information. There is a very tiny uh, wall adapter for the US, and there is the wall plug, so that's gonna go ahead and slide right in. I assume we've got a micro USB adapter, which we have right here. We also have a pair of stereo headphones with a microphone. So that appears to be the Dell Street box, but enough of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the device itself. Let's do some size comparisons and a quick overview as to what this thing is going to look like when you actually start to use it. Uh, it is gonna come, it looks like, with a 16 gig micro SD card, which is quite nice. Uh, build quality still feels very solid. It feels uh, almost identical to what I saw when I first took a look at this last month. I'll go ahead and pop the battery in, and we'll turn it on. You guys can see the uh, first boot up here to see what it looks like. And we'll pop on the back. And this can be used as a as a phone, like I demonstrated a little while ago. It does have a full 3G radio. So you can actually use this as a phone, as a tablet. Uh, it's really a, an all-in-one device. All right, so I did get the back cover on, and as a bit of point of clarification, I should mention that this is actually does not use a micro USB port to charge. Uh, it uses a Dell proprietary port, you can see there on the bottom. There will be a ton of accessories available as far as docks and cradles and such. So let's take a look at the device. 
You've got sort of your standard array of buttons. They are capacitor buttons across the bottom. You've got a back, a menu, and a home button. And this is running a Dell skinned version of 1.6. And a skin is really essential when you're using a phone sort of, of this dimensions uh, to make most use of the real estate. So on the left hand side, there is that dock connecting port. On the front, you got the microphone and speaker sort of in their uh, logical spots. The front facing VGA camera, and of course that five inch screen that we were talking about. On the right hand side is where most of the action happens, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, volume up and down, power and lock, and dedicated camera key. The back we just saw, that houses the five megapixel camera with a dual LED flash, a removable battery, like again, like we just saw, and there's a speaker grill right there on the side of the door. So let's go ahead and power this thing on. And again, this is uh, Android 1.6, so we'll tap to unlock. So press menu to unlock. Go ahead and set up. Welcome to the Dell Streak. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to English. Goes through what I just said. And stay tuned to the YouTube channel and Techno Buffalo. We're we'll doing a full walkthrough, uh, software and hardware of the Dell Streak, as well as our full impressions uh, of the device. So you've got sort of a very new look for Android. Yet very familiar. Get the whole menu bar here is broken up into uh, different devices, status bar, tips, and sort of things work. Um, Familiar with Android, but a bit different. Navigation tips and such. Let's sort of go through this. And we will hit done. And again, this is still a, a full phone, uh, which is kind of interesting as well. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison. Some other devices might be familiar with. When you're thinking, hey, is a five inch phone uh, tablet hybrid going to be too big for me, uh, or is it not? So here it is with the iPhone 4 and the 3.5 inch screen. Uh, you can most definitely see a difference there. Uh, phones are getting progressively bigger than the iPhone. Uh, for example, here's the 4-inch uh, Galaxy S variant of the uh, Samsung Captivate. See, it starts to look uh, a bit more evenly matched. And we can go even a bit larger since phones are getting bigger. Uh, here we have the Evo 4G, and it's 4.3-inch screen. And you start hearing 5 inches, you think, well, you know, that's really big. But you look at devices that are 4.3-inch, and there's really not that much of a difference. Go ahead and put them right up, and you can see sort of where that difference is. Uh, from a thickness standpoint as well, with the Evo 4G, uh, this is a very thin phone. If we also go ahead and bring in the other 4.3-inch phone on the market. Here is the Droid X. You can sort of see what the difference between these two are as well. The Droid X is a bit larger uh, than the Evo 4G. Not that much of a difference. And we go ahead again and stack on top of each other. Uh, you can see that they're... The Droid X is a bit smaller, but the Dell Streak is certainly no fat device. I uh, noticed too that it does not have uh, support for portrait mode on the home screen, although of course it does have an accelerometer uh, for other uses. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this sort of first look uh, and unboxing at the Dell of the Dell Streak, uh, ready for US release. Uh, as soon as I get information on pricing and carriers, I'll be sure to uh, disseminate that to you. And again, be sure to check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash john 4 lakers and technobuffalo.com for full write-ups on the device. I am John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.